Let's dive a little bit deeper into polygonal modeling. I'm going to start with uh, with a sphere. Click on the sphere and um, yeah, start with a sphere over the, over here, and click number five to shade it. All right. Now, if we actually go into vertices, vertex, and uh, bring this one up nicely, and rubber band select, rubber band select these vertices. Bring it down a little bit. Take the move tool and move these vertices. As you can see, there's a there's um there's an edge at the bottom, like a, a clean edge at the bottom. You know, sharp edge at the bottom. So this may be, if this is something that you want, you want maybe building pillars or something like that, this is good for that. But if you actually want to um, soft select, there's a way you can actually soft select this, um, this soft select or soft move these vertices by actually double clicking any of these move, rotate or the, the scale tool. So let's, um, let's redo what we just did and go and double click um, this tool here alright the move tool then go down to let's see soft select alright we can click on soft select that way we able to actually soft select what we jeez what's that just bear with me for a second. Let me close, 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 close. Let me redo this bad boy. I like to uh, soft select and like that graph alright so if I bring it up like that as you can see it's smooth alright it's smooth it gradually drops okay and we can actually change the radius from where it drops using the slider here okay and in spite of what with the features that we've got here we also have um, the ability to actually change the graph all right tweak it to to what we want we can actually tweak this graph as many times as we wish to um to what we want to do and um we also have an option to actually revert what we did what we've done here yeah. another cool thing that we've got on here is uh let me the other cool thing that we've got on here is the ability to actually navigate like that to actually navigate to um, certain curves you know we have the ability to navigate to certain curves um, let me just bring this back if you're a type of person who doesn't like the color red because um the default color is red, the gradual change is red. So if you're not the type of person who likes the red color, you can actually change the yellow color, you can change change it to whatever. We can change it to bright to brownish, red, black, we can change it back to yellow, whatever you want. Pretty much anything you want. So I I'm I'm a I'm a pretty br uh, gun metal color, so put it like that. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, do it like that that's pretty cool and it stays like that for me I like it so whatever you want to do feel free to you know do whatever you want and um, on top of this I've, you've got the option to click on the reflect tool so I'm going to um, I'm going to take this into object mode rubber band select delete make another um, sphere and this sphere, let's take it back to into vertices. This sphere that I've got, if I actually rubber band select, uh oh, so let me just go back. the The radius is too much. I'm not happy with it. So, and 
yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, now, if I want, I can actually turn reflection on. Turn reflection on. Rubber band select these ones. Scroll to the back. See, it actually reflects. It it actually reflects at the back. This one thing that I need to stress out is this reflection is mainly on. It's done using that line there. It reflects whatever using that line. All right. So let's um redo this. Um, go into object mode. Click on that. Move it to a, to the center. Okay. Go into orthographic view. All right. That's the center. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Now we're at the center. Vertex, vertex mod, rubber band select those bad boys. Wait, rubber band select and I need four bad boys. Those ones, yeah. Rubber band select these ones. What is going on? Anyway, you get the idea, right? You rubber band select. Let me move it. Rubber band select those bad boys. Rubber band select these bad boys here and actually pull. If we do it that way, see that? You pull this, it reflects to the other side. It's not, I, I um, selected a few crappy vertices, so that's why it's a bit deformed, but you get the idea. Alright, you get the idea. Yeah, so this is mainly if you're trying to build uh, some sort of a, uh, if you're trying to bu uh, build a model, this is cool for that. It's good for, for building models. Anyway, that's all you need to know about uh, the features that we've got on here. If we close that and do that, we have another option called Paint Select. This one here, all right? This one you actually painting um, vertices on uh, on your model okay other than uh, other than um, clicking other than a uh, shift clicking you can actually paint your vertices all right so yeah and uh, we're able to do the same thing move them skew them yeah there you go it's a bit more accurate that way. And uh, if you want um if you want to increase the brush, all you need to do is let's see paint. Well, if you want to increase the size of the brush, all you need to do is click the B key, which is the the brush key. All right, B key, which is the brush key, then move left to um, to reduce it, to reduce the size, or right to actually make it bigger. So if I want um, it to be that big, that will be able to select these vertices. All right, as you know, um, mirror mirroring is uh, activated, so it's a bit projecting the same to the other side. I forgot to um, change it, so. We click on that that goes all the way on the other side so you get the idea so click on that goes on the other side so see it's pretty cool so um, that's all you need to know but make sure make sure if you if something is um, not working too well if it's uh, make sure to um, turn off your mirroring when you need to and turn it back on when you need it turn it back off when you're done with using it otherwise you face um, some problems like I am right now so yeah that's all you need to know and um, 
hope you enjoyed the tutorial. In, in case you've got any questions, please um, don't forget to um, send me any um, request in the comment section or just send me a private um, little note. Thank you very much. Bye.